Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, talk and conversation uh, around Swedish experiences and uh, the topic Folkbildning, a publicly financed civil society structure in adult education. My name is August Nilsson and I work as a pedagogue at one of the folk high schools in the south of Sweden, down in, in Malmö. And together with me in this conversation I have uh, Mats Ehn. Please make a short introduction to, to yourself. Mm. Hi everyone, I've been working as a folk high school teacher for more than 30 years and since six years back I'm the secretary of FOLAC, Folkbildning Learning for Active Citizenship, which is the international mission for the Swedish folk high schools. Thank you. So this, uh, this notion of folkbildning and, and the word, what does this stand for? Well, uh, folkbildning uh, is made up, up of two words, folk and build, uh, building. And folk means uh, people in English, and uh, building is really a German word, uh, bildung. And these two words put together, uh, they sum up, you could say, 150 years of educational experience in uh, Sweden and the Nordic countries. Uh, starting in the 19th century with the popular movements uh, at those times, uh, the workers' movements, uh, the temperance movement, the free church movement, the uh, women's movement, uh, they were struggling for democracy within the, the framework of the nation-state and um, they needed new forms of education and uh, institutions for, for that, to spread their knowledge, to, to construct new uh, no, knowledge and, uh, and to uh, um, have as a tool in, in their struggle. And they formed uh, institutions that have survived up to, until today, namely the folk high schools and the study circle associations. So this is a, a strong infrastructure today in Sweden. Yes, it's it's a national uh, infrastructure that is uh, supporting uh, uh, democracy in in Swedish society. What what is the role of of the state in regards to to this work carried out today? How does it look like? Yeah, to to understand that, I think uh, we must know from Swedish history the strong influence that the popular movements had on the Swedish states where actually the state took over several of the of the uh, uh, proposals and ambitions of, of the popular movements for example uh, uh, the notion of, of folk building and made it part of the, the national infrastructure so uh, now the state is supporting civil society and and folk building uh, in various ways and uh, and more concretely is it um, uh, are organizations left left free to to uh, carry out education in any way they want or is there also somehow a framework put down by the state yeah uh, the, the yeah uh, understand the uh, the state has um, uh, put forth uh, four main objectives uh, for folk building, and that is that uh, uh, folk building should strengthen and develop democracy. Uh, it should give people tools to cope with their lives and to participate in in society. Folk building should also bridge educational gaps and uh, uh, make it possible, especially for those that are not participating so much in education, to, to do that. And also to enhance the interest and participation in cultural life in, in, in Sweden. Those are the objectives uh, of the Swedish state for supporting folk building. So that's the, the, that's the broad frame, you could say. Uh, so if you look at how uh, adult education in different ways is carried out uh, within within fault building. Are there any common characteristics or pedagogical approaches uh, that one can see uh, throughout the different ways of working? Uh, I would say that one very important characteristic is a, a holistic approach to uh, 
to people and uh, education and and society where you uh, put the uh, the whole life situation of the students and and uh, participants at the core of the stu studies and this of course is connected to the freedom of of syllabus there are no uh, central planned uh, curriculus or, or syllabus that the folk high schools and study circus have to uh, uh, follow they they can construct their their own educational programs and of course also the view of knowledge and education as a good in itself and not only instrumental for re uh, reaching uh, other goals and to, together with this um, uh, freedom of syllabus this uh, implies the active participation and, and uh, um, co-construction of, of the students and participants in, in the educational uh, activities and and of course uh, you could say uh, you have a focus on personal development, but also on participation in, in, in society. Uh, uh, another important thing is, is that it is voluntary to participate in, uh, in adult, in, in uh, folk building. You are not forced to do it. You do it for your own will. Mm -hmm. So many people take part in this uh, by their own will. Uh, and there are some char characteristics we can see that are common. Uh, but who is it running? Uh, the courses, the schools, how is it organized in practice? Yeah. As, as we said before, there is a national infrastructure and it is composed by um, uh, folk high schools. There are, about, there are 151 folk high schools all throughout the country and there are 10 national uh, study circle organizations that, that operates in all the uh, municipalities of uh, Sweden. And the, the majority of the folk high schools are run by um, uh, popular movements or civil society organizations. Uh, and uh, also some are run by regional governments. But uh, the study circle associations, all of them are uh, run by civil society uh, organizations. And who participates? Who are, who are taking part in uh, the different kind of, of courses and, and studies? Mm -hmm. in, the, in the focus schools, there are about uh, 28,000 uh, full-time students. And uh, uh, the main activities of focus schools are full-time uh, studies. It could be once from one semester up to three years. And about half of those um, uh, uh, participants uh, are participating in general courses which can give them access to further studies at a university or, or, or other institutions and others are participating in special courses that could be in, in uh, aesthetic subjects, art, theatre, music but also s different type of social issues or languages and there are, are also a lot of uh, vocational courses for example in uh, uh, journalism to be an I interpreter to work as a leader in civil society uh, and uh, and so on and uh, m most of the students at the focus school they are young adults between 18 to 24 years uh, old many of them especially in the general courses are born in uh, countries outside uh, of, uh, of Sweden uh, and that, that there are also many courses designed for and together with uh, organizations uh, and participants uh, that have different kinds of disabilities. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the study circle associations, there are a, a huge amount of uh, study circles and, and uh, cultural activities. Uh, about 250,000 study circles are organized every year. More, more than 600,000 uh, unique participants are, are, are in those study circles. And, and the study circle associations are, are maybe the most important um, culture actor and arena in, in the country, We're organizing uh, a great number of uh, lectures and cultural events all throughout uh, the country. 
many people are, are taking part in many different phases of life, clearly. It plays, uh, it has a great importance. Yes, yes. And, in, and of course, in, in the study circles, it's all ages are participating uh, there. It's especially a lot of uh, third age people uh, are in those uh, activities, but also very, very many youngsters uh, are, are there. But looking at, at the financial side, you need resources to carry all this work out. Uh, what is the, the, um, the role of the public sector uh, in supporting this? What does the financial infrastructure look like? Yes, uh, it's, uh, folk building is primarily financed uh, through state grants. Uh, about uh, 400 million euros uh, is the budget for, for, for folk building building uh, at the, uh, from the state and that there's also uh, grants from uh, regional and local governments to, uh, to, to this sector. And uh, the students at the folk high schools, uh, they also have the right to uh, um, uh, study loans, which part of uh, is, is, is uh, a grant uh, there. So uh, there are, is a system for financing of uh, the studies for, for the, the students. So it's it's free to take part, free of cost, and you can uh, you have the system with loans and grants that you can also uh, have as a student. Mm -hmm. that, that, so that's um, both for for the actors carrying out the education and for the students yes. or participants. Yes. There is um, an, a structure you could say yes. supporting and, and and the to to. The courses at the FOCA schools, uh, they, they are free. Uh, the the FOCA schools are not charging any, any fees uh, for that, yes. Well, to, to uh, conclude or, or sum up a little bit, what about, uh, what about if you look at the challenges today uh, and, uh, and the, uh, the work ahead for folk building in, in Sweden, uh, what is the current status? Yeah. Well, you, you could say, you know, that, that uh, folk building really is a success story from the part of Swedish civil society. We have uh, succeeded in uh, establishing a national infrastructure uh, uh, for free uh, adult uh, education. And uh, today, uh, in in Sweden and Europe, we are facing serious challenges. We have uh, growing racism and, and xenophobia. We have the issue of sustainable development, climate uh, change. We, 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 we have the issue of gender equality. We have the issue of, of uh, un unemployment and, uh, and uh, financial uh, crisis. So there are many challenges for uh, uh, society and, and democracy. And then it is very important to to have a, a tool uh, which ha had the mission to to strengthen uh, democracy and active citizenship. Because uh, how how are we going to be able to solve these uh, crises or, or take on these challenges without active uh, citizens? That's that's crucial. An, uh, another very the yeah, um, uh, important thing about uh, folk building is its relation to um, society and, uh, and to uh, uh, social movements. We have the uh, freedom of syllabus, which uh, gives us, us the possibility to design our educational activities to meet uh, the needs of uh, the students and of uh, society. We have the strong support through uh, legislation, uh, uh, and uh, we have also strong support from the state through the public financing. And also we have stable institutions for folk building that are stable but also have the capacity to renew themselves. Thank you. So those are some of the, the, uh, the special characteristics that we hope we can bring with us into the future also, looking ahead uh, and hold on to, I feel. Absolutely. Uh, uh, folk building has uh, 150 years uh, of, of history, but it, it is uh, very, very contemporary. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching this, this talk with us. Uh, 
uh, and we'll talk more with you online, we hope. Bye-bye.